So we all remember the RTX 4060 Ti, a monumentally dumb GPU that Nvidia launched, and it's not a dumb GPU because the performance is terrible or anything like that. It's a dumb GPU because the pricing is just wrong. So for those of you that don't remember, back in May, the 4060 Ti launched at $400 eight gigabytes of VRAM, which is its own discussion on the side, but $400 for this card, and it was universally panned as just a bad value. So today I wanted just to look at a proof of concept video, something that was brought up in several different reviews of the 4060 Ti was that it was basically a 3060 Ti in performance. And so I wanted to go down that rabbit hole just a little bit. So looking at Hardware Unboxed and their review, on average, the 4060 Ti only outperforms the 3060 Ti, the average frame rate, by about 5%. So the whole proof of concept I wanted to go through today was how easy is it to just take a 3060 Ti and overclock it and get that 5% through an overclock? So... We're going to take a look at that in one specific game uh, just because, again, proof of concept video. But it turns out the answer is really easy. So today's methodology is really, really simple. I took the Witcher 3 with its next gen update and ran the RTX 3060 Ti with no upscalers or anything like that. No like DLSS or any sort of upscaling going on whatsoever. No FSR, nothing like that. Pure rasterization medium settings, and I just ran the title. And then I went back and gave the card a quick overclock. And when I say a quick overclock, I mean I keyed in some settings, hit the enter button, and off to the races I went. So here's the very basic, literal 60 second overclock I ended up with. I have the 3060 Ti with a 125 megahertz offset on the core, plus 125 megahertz, and then plus 500 megahertz on the memory. And of course I drug the sliders in MSI Afterburner all the way to the right on the power target, which I think only gave me 104% on the power target. And the temperature target was drug over to, I believe, 90 degrees Celsius. But that's all I did. It was literally a 60 second overclock and here's the performance that i had the average frame rate jumped from 67.8 up to 73.5 the one percent load jumped from 48.9 to 53.5 and the 0.1 percent load jumped from 38.4 to 44 now converting that over to percentages again keep in mind we're trying to get a five percent gain to turn this 3060 ti into effectively a 4060 ti in rasterization and keep in mind there are some other bells and whistles that go with the 4060 ti that maybe are important to you av1 encoding does come to mind but if those bells and whistles aren't really something you're interested in then oh i was able to get eight percent with an incredibly quick and simple overclock and the one percent low i got nine percent the point one percent low 15 percent so the point being Proof of concept. Not only is the 4060 Ti just a dumb GPU, the pricing is just all wrong with it. And I think the market's bearing that out. In fact, I looked at Newegg before recording here, and uh, you can actually find 4060 Ti's for below MSRP. And this is a card that launched in May. It's only June still. So it is incredibly easy to turn a 3060 Ti into effectively in rasterization, a 4060 Ti with a very basic and simple overclock. Obviously game to game because they're different architectures. Some will favor the 3060 Ti a little bit more than the 4060 Ti and vice versa. So you might not get the 5% in every single game with a very quick and easy overclock like this. But the whole point of this video is basically this. Unless you need the bells and whistles of the 4060 Ti, save yourself some money if you really want an NVIDIA card in that class. The 3060 Ti on either the used or the new market is cheaper than the cheapest 4060 Ti's that you can currently get. So literally just buy a different NVIDIA GPU, overclock it if you need to. The 4060 Ti is just dumb. It's bad pricing. It's just really bad pricing. Anyways, that's the whole point of the video. If you like it, like, share, subscribe, all those things. Let me know in the comments. Do you have a 4060 Ti? Are there literally anyone that's a tech enthusiast that has a 4060 Ti right now? 
I'm very fascinated. If you do, let me know your thoughts on the card down below. Otherwise, I'm going to let YouTube queue up some more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware. I'll see y'all in the next video.